Hey, how's it going, people? My name is Hernando, and I do hope that you are having a wonderful day so far, man. Now, in today's video, we are going to be highlighting something very interesting today. So, we are going to be showcasing some of the creepiest and scariest places that you guys can visit on Grand Theft Auto 5. So, I guess today's video is going to be a spooky one, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, before we go ahead and get things started up, I was just wondering if you people can be ever so nice to support the video with that blue thumbs up you'll be ever so much appreciative and as well if you guys can do that small little favor and you know just dropping a like on it try to get this video to over you know 666 blue thumbs up then my god dude you are the true mvp and i would appreciate it ever so much and as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i would hate it if you missed out any of my brand new videos and lastly make sure that you guys check out my friend shuffle gamer he is the person who did provide me the footage in today's video subscribe to him his link will be down below Alright guys, so today's video, we are going to be showcasing some of the scariest and creepiest places that you guys can visit into Grand Theft Auto 5. Of course, it's been here since literally day one, but I'm going to be showcasing the highlights. So if you guys go all the way here by the movie theater, you guys are going to be seeing some very creepy signature writing on the wall itself. And if you guys have no idea what this leads towards, it's basically the easter egg about who killed the woman. Now I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more further on in the video, but you guys probably seen some writing on the wall in certain areas on the map, which basically is a lead on towards the easter egg. Again, if you guys come here, you will notice so many creepy little writing on the wall that really doesn't make any sense, but you got to put all the pieces together. I won't be showcasing the whole easter egg for you people because that's like something entirely different, but I'm just going to be showcasing a little bit of it. So right here on the wall, it says, ain't no mystery. They drowned her because of what she knew. The second one that we got right here is going to be all the way here towards the map. And if you guys zoom in, it says, Old Fred act nice, but he ain't. Now again, this relates towards the Easter egg and it all makes sense. But of course, I won't be showcasing that in today's video because it will extend it ever so much. But the third one that we got right here is by the observatory. And then right here, it does state, David Richards knows. So just in case you guys have no idea who he is, he's basically the guy from the story mode and I guess he knows something about the murder mystery that you guys don't. Alright, so now we're going to be moving on forward towards the next one that we got right here that's written on another wall. So if you guys go all the way here, it says Fred makes cartoons for kids. Funny thing considering what he hid. So what exactly did Fred hide? What exactly is it? I mean, I'm pretty sure that you guys want to know as much as I do. Well, if we go all the way towards the bottom of the ocean, all the way here in this spot and just keep traveling downwards, you're going to be seeing a very weird figure from the distance. And of course, this is the body of the woman that has been murdered throughout these events. Of course, if we pay attention to the details, we can see that her face has been tied up with a mask and also her legs have been cemented downwards, letting you guys know that she has been sunk all the way to the bottom. It's a very weird sight to actually see, especially from a Grand Theft Auto 5 game. I mean, you wouldn't really think that, you know, the video game that you play to kill random possessions and people and, you know, your online friends will have such a dark side towards it. But here's an up-close version of the face itself, and again, it's very, very weird, dudes. Now, moving on forward towards the next thing that we got right here is gonna be the ghost woman all the way on top of the mountain. Now, of course, everyone pretty much knows this, and this easter egg is very familiar, but what the creepiest part about this is the site that there actually tells you the background about this. So, if you guys have no idea who this is, the woman right here is known as Lenora Johnson. She has been murdered and you guys can see the page right here with all the background information towards it. Now, of course, I'm not going to be telling you guys about the whole Easter egg event because it is kind of long. But basically, she's been murdered and there's actually pictures of her being dissembled piece by piece in some of the images right here. Of course, if you guys want to see it for yourself, go ahead and visit this page. But it's, again, it is kind of shocking to actually see something like that. Now, moving Moving on forward, we are going to be showing some paranormal activity in Grand Theft Auto 5. So we're going to be starting off all the way here by the ocean. If you guys want to go ahead and visit it, here it is. And basically, you get to hear the voices of a ghost woman around this area. Make sure that you guys come here at 11 o'clock in the morning and you too will also hear it for yourself. But let's go ahead and take a listen.
Now, moving on forward, I want to showcase another interesting little easter egg found recently in the game that has to do with a ghost baby. Now, let's go ahead and play it for you. And the very last thing that I want to go ahead and showcase to you is the recent activity that happened to me in the sewers of Grand Theft Auto. Now I do want you guys to go ahead and watch this because I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the easter egg of this or Ratman in the sewer as a lot of people are actually calling that. But I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this. Now if you guys can do me a small little favor and drop a like on the video then I'll be ever so much appreciative man. I'll fucking love you forever and as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. But with that being said let's go on and roll the footage.